You guys could use this for like pure evil. Like, let's get a bunch of actors on a polygraph test. All the debaucherous stories, the gossip, what you guys could find out. Now I'm trying to get into your guys' heads. Is it working? Put your hands up high. Yep. Leans forward. Okay. Nothing hurts, okay? You're gonna feel Great. a little pressure in your arm. Great. That's about it, okay? Great. There'll be no pain. I would hope not. To begin, I'm gonna ask you a few questions to calibrate the machine. Okay. Is your full name Finn Michael Wolfhard? Yes. Are you worried about failing this test? Yes. Do you feel like you have something to hide? No. He's telling the truth. Starting with your personal life. You were born in Vancouver, Canada, but have spent much of your time in the United States. Yes. Do you prefer Canadians or Americans? Canadians. I think there's like a general politeness in Canada that you don't get sometimes in the States. Like you don't get someone being like, hey, fuck you, or <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> Which I've gotten in New York, I think at least three times. So you hate New York? No. It's the truth, isn't it? You hear that? It's my boy right there. Do you think you're a nice person? Yes. Would any of your co-stars agree? I think so, yes. What about waiters? Yeah, I think so. I, ho I would hope so. I'm gonna get a comment that's like, he did not tip enough, I'm sure. But I, I make sure that I tip. I'm sure in my life I've messed up. I've made mistakes in the past. He's telling the truth. You said you got your first acting job off of Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Is Craigslist a good platform for children to find employment? Uh, no. I got lucky. So it's only okay if you do it? Hmm. At that, yes. Yeah, it is only okay if I do it. I feel like I'm the guinea pig. He's telling the truth. You're in a band called The Aubreys. Mm -hmm. Are you a better Aubrey than... Oh, no. Aubrey Graham? No. Look at this man. He's had a lot of hits. You can't, you can't argue with the hits. Would you ever want to collaborate on a song with him? I don't... I don't think so. I really like Drake, but we make such different music. Maybe if he wanted to do like an indie rock song, then great. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Is it also because you've been on Twitter recently? No. What's on Twitter? What's going on on Twitter? Is there something going on with me, with me and Drake on Twitter? I'm gonna have to go on X by Twitter. Am I telling the truth? You've talked about getting a tattoo of your brother Nick's name. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No. It's not my brother's name. Here's the thing. My brother, I was getting a tattoo and it's two sheep. It's like a John Lennon painting. Someone asked me like, w w are you getting the tattoo? Like, it, does it represent anything? And I was like, I guess if it represented anything, I guess it would be my brother, but that's not really the reason why I got a tattoo. And my brother took that and ran. Now it's true. But at the time when I got it, it was not for my brother. Do you want me to show it? It's a little line drawing. It's very good. Thank you. Does he plan on getting the same tattoo or a tattoo dedicated to you? You know, I would hope so. Now that I have one, I think he should get like, you know how some people have like a caricature of their child's face on their chest? I would hope that he would get one of those. He's, he's lying. Oh, come on. These things are inconclusive, uh, right? Keep going. <laughs> Judd. Is it true that you've worn the same pair of pants for a month before? Absolutely. Do you not wash your clothes? I do. Jeans, though, I feel like you can get away with for a long time. Right? Do you believe in personal hygiene? Y uh, yes. Just tell the truth. I just said that because it's been like two days since I've showered. That's why I said that. Was that bad? Like two, day, two days, not bad. Moving on to your career. 
You star in two recent Ghostbuster films. Yes. Are they better than the originals? <sighs> no. He's telling the truth. Are they better than the Star Wars sequel trilogy? There was like a big discourse around Ryan Johnson's movie, I guess. I loved that movie. I think that movie is so good and underrated. At least there was like a thing like, let's take a swing and try some new ideas. So that's not, sorry, that's not an answer. Do I find the Ghostbusters movies better than the, um, like the new trilogy? Your Ghostbusters movie. My Ghostbusters movie, yeah. He's telling the truth. Ghostbusters are known for not being afraid of no ghosts. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? I did have a paranormal experience. What it's I a thought. lie. Fuck. <laughs> well, I did. Uh, let me finish, Judd. What I thought was a paranormal experience ended up being my dishwasher. Like, just the noise of my dishwasher. It was a windy day. Like, in my head, I was like, doesn't wind mean, like, a lot of spirits are flying around? And then I heard, like, a, like a long guttural noise from my kitchen that I thought was a ghost, but ended up being my dishwasher. Do you believe in ghosts? Not yet, no. I haven't seen one. Just telling the truth. Do you have to see to believe? I, I think so, yeah. Dan Aykroyd has had many paranormal experience, and I fully believe him that he has seen these. Telling the truth. You've been frequently cast in roles set in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was the best decade? No. Cold War? No, thank you. Right, Judd? Yeah, he's telling the truth, 100%. I was there in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, it was a more free time, I'm sure. I wasn't there, but I think it was like, you know, you could ride your bike around without your parents thinking that, like, you'd go missing or get murdered or anything like that. You directed and starred in the film Hell of a Summer. Yes. Are you a better director actor than Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper has much more experience than I, so I think he's a better director. Telling the truth. Are you a better director actor than John Krasinski? Again, he has like he's done like these big movies, so I don't think so. He's telling the truth. Are you a better director, actor than Orson Welles? Oh, come on. He's like the greatest of all time. Absolutely not. Imagine if I said yes. That would be the most unlikable thing I think that's ever been said on the show. Judd? He's telling the truth. Open book. So a number of your Stranger Things co-stars have said more characters should have died by the end of season four. Do you agree with that? Not by season four, I don't think. Do you not believe in consequences for characters? I do. I really do believe in consequences for characters. There's been like family that have died, like, you know, Max's brother and all that stuff. But no like main character has died yet, except for Eddie and Barb and Bob and Mason. Yeah, a lot more than one. Does anyone else die in season five? I truly don't know. He's telling the truth. <sighs> Moving on to Are you put off? Are you put off by my answers? I'm not on the spot here. I'm on the spot here. You're right. I think I should stick to asking questions. Okay, okay, okay. I should stop being so insecure. Do you think you're an Judd? insecure person? Uh, yes. He's lying. Interesting. I guess like I'm an anxious person. I'm not, in I feel insecure in that way. He's telling the truth there. Moving on to pop culture. In 2020, you posted a picture of your younger self playing football yeah. and told the Seattle Seahawks you were available if they needed you. Did they ever call you? Not for playing. I think I would die. I think I would actually die if I went on that field. He's telling the truth. Do you normally send public thirst traps to NFL teams? Normally? I guess, yeah, I did it then. Uh, inconclusive on that one. Inconclusive. 
Who else would you like to reach out to? Football-wise? Sure. The Chiefs had a dynasty. That's pretty cool. But I'm a Seahawks fan through and through, so. Chad? Tell the truth. You've expressed interest in being in a Marvel film. Yes. In the past, yes. Have you asked your Ghostbusters co-star, Paul Rudd, to put in a good word for you with the head of Marvel? No. Is that because MCU films have been mid recently? Yes. Tell the truth. Do you believe the only way to fix it is to cast you in their next film? Do I believe that I would save the Marvel franchise alone as an actor? No. Just tell him the truth. In 2023, you beat your Stranger Things co-stars for the Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Male TV Star. Do you think you were the correct choice to win? Yeah. Do you brag about it to them? No. I would if I got slimed. It's an iconic thing to get slimed. Do you think you'd beat them in any category? Like running? Is that a category? Is that the category you want to choose? Yes, running. I would choose running. I think that I have an edge. I think that I could beat Gaten or Caleb. Caleb's very fat. Caleb on set in the last few months has asked to race at least five times. And I've said yes twice, and I've almost beat him twice. And I think soon I will. Is this officially a moment you would like to challenge Caleb? Caleb, I will beat you. You're gonna see this and you're gonna text me and I'll have to commit now. You were once advised that the minute acting is no longer fun, you have to stop. Yes. Are you still having fun acting? I am, yeah. What will be the thing to make you stop? If I was like truly unhappy acting, I think that would be the thing that would make me stop. Or if, you know, if like directing really picked up and I got to like direct all the time, then that would be amazing. Do you think directing is better than acting? Yeah, I do. Chad? He's telling the truth. Do you want to be an EGOT? That's Emmy, Grammy, what's the O? Oscar. Oscar. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was really dumb. And the T? What the hell is the T? Tony. The Tony. I guess not, if I forgot like the name of the Oscars. It'd be cool to win an Oscar. I don't know if, if I should win the EGOT. I don't think I should win the EGOT. I was telling the truth. Final question. Okay. At any point, did you lie during this interview and we didn't catch you? No. Chad? I was telling the truth. All right. Thank you very much, Finn.